Hello and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey and today I'm going to be talking about pizza peels and I didn't realise how many pizza peels I've accumulated over the last few years. I've laid them all out on the table. I've got nine peels, seven metal peels and two wooden peels. When I first started cooking pizza I wasn't sure which peel was used for what and why I needed it. I realised there were a number of peels, a launch placement peel and a turning peel and like a square peel. There were so many different types and all different shapes and sizes and different metals and woods. It took me some time to decide which one to buy and many are made by the manufacturers of the pizza ovens which is really great because then they've made the pizza peels to go with the pizza oven size. Pizza turning peels are designed to be used inside the oven in order to turn the pizza around in the oven without pulling it out. This ensures that the heat stays on the pizza throughout the cook. You can also cook the pizza with just one hand and you can get two types of turning peels, solid metal ones and perforated metal peels. The uni peel has a nice, a really nice long handle and light. It's a lovely peel to use in the Uni Pro. Now the Gosney peel I use for the rock box, the Adore and the Coda and any small portable pizza oven. It's got a perfect length handle and I actually love this this peel. It's a bit heavier than the uni peel but it's got a beautiful weight on it and yeah that's my favourite small oven pizza peel. Then I've got this peel which I bought a few years ago now. It was like the cheapest one I could find on Amazon and it was about £11 and I love it. So this was the uh, pizza peel I used to use in the Uni Pro before I got this one. So yeah, this has been a really good, I mean this has worn really well and for the price it's fantastic and it's so light. It's like this is hollow tube but strong, very light and I love that. So what's going on with these perforations? Well, as you can see, this one doesn't have perforations. So the reason why there's holes in these particular pizza peels is because the base will get heat off the stone as you're turning the pizza. And that's why these pizza peels have these perforations in them. It allows the flour to sort of fall out away from the base as well. A launch peel launches the pizza into the oven for the cook. It is not used to then cook the pizza. A placement peel, sometimes you can get a peel that's both. You can launch it and you can use it as a placement peel. These peels you can use to launch into the oven and then you pull the pizza out of the oven to turn it and then you use it to place it back into the oven to cook. So every time you turn the pizza, you have to pull the pizza out, turn it with your hand and then place it back into the oven and then you can use that same peel to retrieve your pizza at the end of the cook. That's the Gosney launch peel and is great for placing your pizza into the oven. It's been designed to be non-stick and the flour or semolina, whatever you put on your pizza before you launch it, technically should be falling through the holes and your pizza then would not stick to it and it would launch into the oven without as much flour on the bottom. This uni peel, that's a launch peel.
peel, placement peel. If you don't like using a turning peel, then you can turn your pizza yourself using this pizza peel. So you have to bring the pizza out of the oven, turn it yourself and push it back into the oven with this peel. And the same would apply to this old peel that I got with the Uni three years ago. You can launch, place it, turn it on your peel yourself with your hands, launch it back in and then remove it from the oven with that. This is the only peel um, that I haven't used more than once. It's lovely, it's really good quality. Um, it's just too heavy for me and too big. So those are all my metal peels that I use. Epicotis bar. I use that every time I cook a pizza. I love it, it's really lightweight and that's the reason why I love it. And my pizzas don't tend to stick to it very much either. I just put a bit of semolina on it and it's just, I just love it, love that peel. So that's a placement peel, like a launch peel. You wouldn't use that to turn your pizza. Yeah, you wouldn't use it to cook your pizza. You just use the wooden ones to put your pizza into the oven. And this is another launch peel and again you would not use that to turn your pizzas for cooking in the oven you would just use it for launching your pizza into the oven it's got a lovely sharp edge to it but it is heavier than that one and I do prefer them lighter but I do use it for cutting up my pizzas which is really lovely so to go over the main purpose of these turning peels the wooden peels are for launching only they're not for turning in the oven, they're not supposed to be used for cooking the pizza. After that then you have to use a metal peel that's been designed for use for cooking in a hot oven. And so these would be these peels and these peels. Those are designed for cooking your pizza in the oven. You just need a few, definitely need a wooden launcher or a launch peel you decide which one you, you prefer. You will need a long handled peel if you have a bigger pizza oven and if you have a smaller pizza oven then a short handled peel will be fine. And those are the two turning peels I use. I know that Gosney now do the longer handled turning peel as well. I don't think Uni do the shorter handled turning peel as yet. I haven't seen it on their site anyway. So that's it. Those are all my peels. Those are the ones that I I don't use all the time. I use that for preparing most of the time. Even though I've got that collection, I will just be using these three pizza peels. And that's it. So I hope you found that useful. Um, I know that when I first started making pizza, I didn't have a clue about the pizza peels. And so uh, I hope you found this video helpful, so take care everyone, keep safe, bye. And don't forget to check out our website gottoeatpizza.com, link is below.